All right, let's get into our next discussion now. The All Progressives Congress is putting its house in order ahead of the 2019 polls. Indeed, first, it was the establishment of the APC Reconciliation Committee to bind warring members and factions together. At its first National Executive Committee meeting of the party this year, the APC National Chairman and other party executives were granted an elongation of their tenure by 12 months. At this, the party said, is to avert issues that may arise from holding different congresses and conventions ahead of the 2019 polls. But this decision does not sit well with some members of the party who insist that the constitution of the party provides a four-year tenure for its executives. So we have joining us now a member of the All Progressives Congress, Ibrahim Oshino. Ibrahim, good morning. You're welcome. Nice, uh, nice Na to see you too. Yeah, nice to see you, really. Now... Uh, the the um, uh, the chairman of the APC has come out to say, well, we didn't expect everybody to support us in the first place when they talked about uh, tenure elongation and all of that. But what does this? What how strategic on what does what does this mean for the party at this time? Um, thank you for having me once again. Um, democracy is a game of number. It's a game of interest, and um, it's a game of plans. Um, at this point in time, of course, that's democracy playing up within our party. Uh, the chairman, of course, he is a direct beneficiary of that uh, tenant obligation. But don't forget that there is a standing rules and regulation for parties, and in fact, indeed, the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999 constitution. So if he's saying that, okay, the elongation, uh, of course, there's going to be different opinions and view, that's welcome. And you can see that um, the chairman of Nigerian Governors Forum, who is also a leader in our party and uh, a stakeholder, is saying, singing another song entirely, saying that the relevant article of the, uh, of the party constitution must be addressed to. Ditto the constitution of Federal Republic of Nigeria as well. Mm. However, um, I agree with some quarters saying that uh, we should have allowed the chairman of the Constitution Committee to have carried out some thorough and diligent reconciliation move. Of course, you can see Shokoto State, there is immense peace in Shokoto State. Within less than two months, mm -hmm. the, the chairman has been able to harmonize the stakeholders in Shokoto, which is very strategic in terms of election delivery mm -hmm. for our party. Mm -hmm. We should have allowed the chairman of the reconciliation committee to move from one or two phases of the reconciliation move. Then we will take that to the next meeting. Of course, um, if you look at Governor Yari, he has made a very fantastic, you know, uh, outreach, saying that, yes, it's an expression of opinion. Anybody can do that. But what about the concern of the party? If we are saying that we want internal democracy for the party, mm. what about the constitution? Are you neglecting the constitution for selfish reasons mm. of, some, mm. of some people? Or you are deliberately violating the constitution that guides the activities of the party? So in this case, you are personally, you're not in support of the elongation it's of going to, It's going to be a two-way thing. I'm going to support for the party to allow the chairman of the reconciliation committee to come out with a viable ideas a viable reconciliation model. I can tell you for free, there's going to be another next meeting. I don't know. Possibly there's going to be another one. And if you don't settle the rift and issues within the caucuses, within the state executive council, you can't have a thorough neck meeting, national neck meeting. It's not possible. But it seems the APC is taking one step forward and 100 steps, uh, steps backward because after setting up a reconciliation committee headed by uh, the national leader of the party, Ashwa Jubal Atinubu, and then you are confirming these people which some members, you know, are loudly uh, uh, against, uh, are even ha having issues with, especially accusing the national chairman of favoritism in, in some states, really. So don't you think this could even... Uh, puts the a APC in more uh, crisis than it's supposed to bring it out from? I, I bet you disagree with you. There is no crisis. This is just what we call political outplay. It mm. happens within any viable organization. There's going to be competition. Some sector of our party believes that the chairman of the reconciliation committee does not deem or does not watch that position. It doesn't have a moral standing. And some believe that that is the only man that can unify this party. He has paid tremendously um, uh, um, uh, deals for this party. He has sacrificed for this party. He knows how to harmonize people, even within 
Azo in the southwest. What I'm saying is that some notary believes that if he's successful in harmonizing these people, of course, we're going to go through the normal channel of elongation. Okay, don't forget again that if you, want to, if you are going to seek or to elongate the tenor of the National Executive Committee, it's going to be through convention. Mm. You can't have anything. If you do anything less than that, there's going to be litigation, and that's going to be a doom for our party. So what we are trying to say is that they should allow the head of the Constitution Committee to come out, at least they, it's, it's about six weeks, that's not too long for a good process, let him come out, harmonize majority, at least we have our level states having issue. We have Kogi, we have Shokoto, we have Kano, mm. that is very crucial Even to our party. Kaduna, Kaduna, has Kaduna the same. as well. Mm -hmm. We have all these northern states that are very crucial. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. rushing for tenor elongation sometimes might not sound so well. That's going to be another issue entirely for our party. Because if you are talking about elongation and you are going to, in due course, you are going to have at least non elective convention. Mm. I'm telling you, who are the people coming for this non elective convention? They are going to be from state caucuses. Mm. And when you are having issues within the state and you are coming for net meeting, of course, the net meeting is going because to be mm. in division. There's a divi mm. divided house right from the mm -hmm. states already. That's from mm. the state. So that's why we are clamoring that you should allow Ashwadu to deliver this goodwill. When he approach, of course, we can see Shokoto between two weeks. He's moving from one state or the other. He moves from Shokuto to Kaduna. We have a, um, the Dr. Shegoni, at mm -hmm. least as yes. a temporary mediator. Yes. Why the chairman of the reconciliation And that was why I asked if this board. won't even, you know, uh, make the reconciliation moves more difficult. Of course, there's, there will be some people who are ready to throw Spanner into that reconciliation mode. I tell you, I tell you that for free. Of course, there are some people who does not want that reconciliation move to be successful because of their own personal selfish reason. And that the, one of the reasons is what you are saying about telling elongation. If you have allowed the man to finish his job, okay, the next meeting cannot hold for now because we're having a reconciliation mood going on. Give us another six weeks or four months. Let us have a feedback, at least if you, in North Central, if you can say to Kaduno, Shokoto, Kano, and move to other uh, not central like Kogi and all that. You can see the governor of Kogi State. He is the one that comes out to say that they are saying no elongation. And I'm sure he's doing that as his own personal reason. Yeah, he but didn't in, consult a, in, the a situation, in a situation didn't where, in a situation where there are already recommendations for the uh, dissolution of the National Working Committee in, with the chairman and and dissolving them and setting up a, a caretaker committee towards the convention. Those who have seen the writing on the wall, wouldn't you say, okay, it's the right thing to do? Mm. Look, my brothers. Because it is the issue of the idea for some, the interest of some persons who don't want uh, either the chairman and the National Working Committee to be there at the, going into the convention, and, and, and then another interest who says, no, they have to be there. That is not, like I said earlier, mm. it's all about politics. It's a game of interest. Right. I tell you, the only middle ground for this discussion that I foresee is that there's going to be caretaker. The present executive possibly will leave. Then the state, and I tell you, if all these things will work out, what will need to happen is that the state caucuses must agree before coming to the next meeting. If there's no discussion within the state level, if there's division, okay, for instance, let me take Kaduno. Hmm. Senator Sheo, EQ hmm. will not agree with the ESCO of hmm. uh, Governor Erufai. And you are telling me that if we want to say that if the next meeting is holding, Senator Sheo will not sit down there. Hmm. Okay. Governor Rufai will not be there. Mm. There's going to be conflicting harmonization. So possibly Senator, Senator Sonny will say, okay, I don't want the Oyegun let fract. I want a caretaker. Mm. Mm. In caretaker, every stakeholder will come in the state. You will bring your own. I will bring my own. Of course, it's going to be 50 50. But when it seems that the reconciliation uh, committee and even the, the leadership of the party might not be on the same page now, uh, how do you move forward from there? I'm, I'm trying to bring you uh, to the letter, you know, written that uh, Oyegun, the national chairman of the party, uh, was frustrating efforts of the, ch uh, the chairman of the committee. What I will advise is that the present acting chairman, uh, the present chairman, the chairman of the, because his tenure is going to end in June, the present chairman of the party should allow and respect the committee. Let the committee do a thorough job. Give all the necessary support for the committee. There's nobody holding you not to contest for the second round of your um, chairmanship. 
But let the party win the election. However, don't forget that if you don't win the election, there's nothing to share. The chairman is more as, as dead as on arrival. So you should allow the chairman of the committee to finish his job. The job has been yielding results. But he has, he has so even, he even but when that. he was accused of not supporting the, the committee or the, the reconciliation move, he came out, he came out to pledge his uh, support mm -hmm. openly and said, well, I'm in support. Contrary to the opinion that he was trying to frustrate I the read, effort. I read through his feedback. Mm. Does it comply with what? The summary, the, the summarized uh, Look, feedback. You guys are professional. We are politicians. He knows how to address that memo. But unfortunately, the man is addressing that memo too. Of course, he's holding the game. Well, he I held a meeting with the a president good... before that uh, memo. and of there course, was, there he was... met that afternoon with the president. Exactly. But in the short for he should allow the reconciliation move to stand. The reconciliation will bring different views and opinions from the state caucus, from the world to LG, from LG to state caucus, to the national level. Don't you think the APC really needs a convention now? Because it, it, many have said that that is supposed to be the test, the true test of the party's uh, unity. And then um, we're going this way. It means that uh, the, 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 the major avoiding. exactly the major problems might not be addressed even via the reconciliation committee because um, some are saying that it's not all the members that even recognize uh, the man uh, channeling it. Not all the members, but majority of the members of APC are sat today. I can tell you for free, recognize that reconciliation, and they are ready to work with that reconciliation. So is APC even avoiding from, from uh, government? Kwan Kwanzo mm -hmm. is ready to work with that reconciliation. I'm, honestly, let me be honest with you. Personal opinion, my own personal opinion is that we should go to the convention. Of course, let me tell you, if you hold another convention next year, there's going to be crisis. Hmm. And how do we settle the crisis that we witness in convention is to have a thorough reconciliation agenda. And that is what Ashwadu is doing right presently. He's trying to harmonize all the grudges. So when you're coming, okay, of course, PDP had a convention. There's crisis. Despite the fact that there's meeting before meeting, after meeting, okay, you will take this, you will take this. There's still some crisis. There's no time you have convention that will not be crisis. But if you are saying you want to elongate for some certain set of people to return, mm. majority of the first-time governors, of course, they are in support of that tenor elongation. But they forget that. They are just the beneficiary of the process. That's some people who sacrifice for the APC, who invest their life. Let's assume we lost the 2015 election. What will happen to Ashwaju? Mm. What will happen to other stakeholders in the party? All right. So this is the this, key yeah. issue. They should allow Ashwaju to work. They should allow him to deliver the goods. But this it, will but be it, a at this point, mm. at, at this at this point, Ibrahim, are they yeah. are they people who are really against what? Uh, uh, Ashwaju, the reconciliation that he is carrying out, are there people who are really against it? In the, I, I tell you, say. before even the presidency, before the issuance of that statement from mm. presidency, some people are against in that move already. To what aim? Of course, it's political good. What other aim? Because they see him as it's too clever, it's too perfect. It's too strong. Don't you think the president should have? That's a motive. Don't you think the president uh, should have instead? Uh, uh, and told the national chairman now to work closely with Ashiwaju on this uh, reconciliatory mission uh, because uh, some might say that um, because of the history, well, perceived the history of the two men and not being on the same page, kind of, uh, that uh, they could go this way or that way. And that and many said really, even when they came out to hold uh, the same meeting, uh, a meeting to declare support, total support for the Ashiwaju reconciliatory uh, movement. Don't you think if President Bramodra Bari had said that, I want you men to come together, sit there and work together to reconcile all members, that it would yield more result and even bring these two men, these big wigs of the party, even closer? Let me tell you the, the margins of Shifo Yegun as a chairman. He cannot look at Shivaju in his face and say, you are not part of my, my, my emergency as a chairman. Who is there, Shifo Yegun, in the party? Most of the delegates that went for that election was majorly from the southwest and, and the north center. Linking Ashwadu, even I can tell you, Ashwadu did most of all the northern caucuses to vote for him at the convention. He's not the only one. Chief Tommy Kimi left the party because of Yegu. I'm telling you. So what is just that people are just ungrateful for no just reason. 
They are just ungrateful. You don't need the presidency to summon Ashwadu and summon Oyegun. Ashwadu brought how many governors to the table? Where is Oyegun? What does he bring to the table? All right, what now he to the table? Th there are he other didn't people. To the table, so there is no point of president calling him. Is a president is a president presidential order that this man should go and lead this and lead this and lead this. You need all the support the party needs from this man. Of course, you should have given it to him, mm -hmm. if not for personal gain. Mm -hmm. And the issue is all about probably Ondo. Ondo issue, the man has moved on. He has embraced Akele Dolu. Everybody mm -hmm. is okay. Akele Dolu is his boy. He's a governor of Ondo State. And he's, he's respect as you are doing. Things has moved on in the southwest. All right. Uh, let's, let's, um, let, let's take it from this perspective. Uh, we know that the, the coming together of what makes the APC now was ACN, CPC, mm -hmm. the new PDP, mm -hmm. and then part of uh, ABGA, as the case may be. ANCC. But from the crisis we're seeing now, does it seem like, or does it seem, does it, does, does it look like the original ACN on one hand, CPC on the other, new PDP. Are, are, those, are those the things causing this friction in the, in the party right now? I don't see things like that playing play on. Okay. Of course, let's forget about CPC, APC, new PDP. Mm. Let's assume you start a party today. There's going to be cacos. In the next two hours of that registration, there's going to be cacos. She will have her own cacos. You will have her own cacos. What is the motive? Supremacy. Mm. That is the game in and out of what is going to happen mm -hmm. yes i agree with you that some new pdp who still have some special influentials with the original pdp who are primarily in the senate mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there are some ampp tacos in some if, let's assume in Sanfara. you can imagine governor yari and a uh, uh, senator um um, um Marafa, Marafa, Marafa. accusing the governor that he wanted they both, to assassinate him. Yes, they both from EMPP. Mm. Now, coming to APC, there is a division of mm -hmm. supremacy. Mm -hmm. So there is no way you will shed that away from politics. But I tell you, what is playing out is a regional politics. Mm. That if you give this guy so much to do, it's going to be more relevant. If you listen to some section of media over the years, they are saying, of course, this government has relegated Ashiwaju. This government has relegated Ashiwaju. Of course, some are still saying that this. Even um, the wife said so. If, of course, even, the, even Senator Remy said it. Some sectors, even in the Southwest, in our group, is saying that Ashiwaju should be watchful of this appointment as a reconciliation mm -hmm. head. Mm -hmm. Because we don't want anybody to push him forward and rubbish him at the end of the day. Even Governor Farashe, he will tell you, despite the fact on is, is, is in opposition, will tell you that our own small god is Ashiwaju in the southwest. Despite the, the fact that we have mm. uh, partial uh, political differences. Yes, so, but let's, let's see from this perspective. Mm. The, the, the political, like anyone would say, the party is bigger than any individual. Yes. Just like the country, just like the constitution, as the case may be. Yes. We know that there are organs recognized by the constitution of the APC for them to work, like the National Working Committee, the mm -hmm. National Ex Executive Council, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, even down to the states and all of that. Mm -hmm. Now, the position of somebody like Ashiwaju, like you have said, someone who, who is like the benefactor of the party and someone who has worked so hard for the party. Mm -hmm. But now that the party is in place, people are saying, let the parties work. Is his influence not too much, as in everywhere where it seems like it is overbearing on the people, on some of the organs of the, of the, of the party? I want to go back to my statement mm. that it's a game of interest. Ashiwadu led a lot of people into a PC. I wonder if you want him to just back off from those millions of people that followed him into the, mm. into the party. Of course, he must protect our interests. But what many expected he him. He must protect that interest. So the overbearing attitude, overbearing uh, attitude of Ashwa, I've not seen anything that he's doing that is overbearing. Yeah, he's not sleeping. He doesn't have a bedroom in uh, Asso Rock. He doesn't have a bedroom in Sydney. Mm. In fact, most of the, the the political game that that they must, um, emanate from the National Assembly was not in favor of Ashwa, and he has moved on. I'm not trying to sing praises on him, but I will, let's just 
discuss about the fact because I'm part of that process from, from but, yes from Iran, Iran, so let me come in when he expected him instead APCPC. when the, uh, the job mm. of rec <coughs> reconciling aggrieved members was given to mm. him by President Bumo mm. that uh, being a national leader of a party recognized not just within Nigeria but outside mm. that he should have told the president his mind first of how he abandoned him now we at least we can say that now after the election and then the goings on within the party really to chart mm. a new course for it instead mm. of just accepting it keeping quiet we don't know if he told him but so far it seems so according to many that that should have been what he should I have tell done. you I should you that I know will discuss tentatively and diligently with the president some of his concern before accepting that offer of course I'm shown represent sure that he must have discussed thoroughly with the president that these are the things these are the things these are the things that you have done that I'm, I'm not okay with and if you want me to take this job, these are the things, these are the things that I'm expecting. You can't bamboo him. You understand? You can't bamboo. He must have discussed with the president. But while discussing, some other people are denominating some other governors to come into the party to come and reconcile. The Ashwadu will only go there to reconcile in his own benefit and favor because he's trying to, you know, extend context for the presidency in after you and the likes of that. So he's establishing some relationship in the Northern Caucus, huh. which is not so. The man loves the party. He, he, he sacrificed so much for the party. So if there's any opportunity to serve the party, of course, he will do it diligently. But on the national executive, of course, on the national executive um, tenor elongation, the due process must be followed. And before those due process must be followed, there must be an harmonization from the state. You think there could be a reverse? But uh, uh, exactly, as, Why it, not? as it is right now, that is, what? That is a wish. Who do you think can reverse that it? That is a wish. Who do you think can reverse it? Then you think the person would? That can reverse it? Yes, this then your elongation. I, there's nothing to reverse. There's nothing has happened. Let me be honest, nothing has happened, so there's nothing you want to reverse. So you don't think that is a con it's contravening the constitution of the APC now, extending uh, Oyegu and other states? That's what I'm saying. The statement of elongation is a wish. Okay. So it has not even violated, because that will not take effect until the end of June 30. So if anything, after June 30, then that is illegal. Okay. Because if you are coming to convention, all the national executive committee are not the one that will go to the confession. You move from your ward chairman, from your ward escrow to state escrow to state to LG escrow to state escrow. All of them we imagine Abuja, and that you don't foresee a possibility of a convention, not, not even holding. Maybe I foresee a, a, a possible convention, elective convention mm. in June. In June, mm. I'm telling you, and in August, in September, the primary. The primary. So these are internal crises. It's not about Nigeria issue. Nigerians just take their. It's not about governance. This is a party issue, and in party issue there must be issue to deal with. And the only way you can get your electoral process right is by you having a democratic process of electing your delegates that will vote for any candidate. And that seems to be uh, one of the issues with the APC, mm. being accused of maybe falsifying uh, delegates' uh, names uh, or even blowing it out of the uh, actual number, Undo, Kadunas. These are part of issues you witness in political parties. And if you say you're a democratic party, don't you think you're supposed to lead by example and I prove I tell you, in this country today, it. APC is one of the well and established that tailor their process to democracy's process to emerge or for any candidate to emerge. As of today, I'm telling you, the way you the can imagine. names of delegates are compiled? We have a standing <laughs> delegate already. You can imagine if even <laughs> yeah, again, former Vice President Asiku that lost to Governor Kwanko, so it, it's a third, distance third to Governor Kwanko, so I said mm -hmm. that that process was credible. So the only way you can have all this passion of delegate list is to go into an elective. All right, ba based, on, based on hierarchy, the National Working Committee and the National Executive Committee, which, mm. which, which supersedes the other? The National Working Committee, mm. the National... Uh, yes, the Constitution provides for both of them, but the National Working Committee is more or less like a supreme body mm. that oversees the National Executive Committee. The National Executive Committee are the chairman, uh, the, the vice, the zona chairman, the legal advisor, and all that. Mm. Of course. So these are the people that are nominated by different individuals to okay. occupy the, that are elected anyway, pardon me for that word, mm. by individuals that comes from different states. But the National Working Committee, of course, they are more or less 
taking in for the BOTs. All right. So does the APC have BOTs? Board uh, of Trustees. Uh, I was no. about to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> if no, we, why is that? We Since presently we have of member party. of BOTs. Mm. But probably you want to say we don't have a chairman, chairman. of BOT. We have member of BOT. I know some who are member of BOT, and but we don't have the chairman. The Why? chairman, you know, there's some interest on the chairmanship of the BOT, mm -hmm. and we believe that these are very minute issues. The BOT chairman does not really have any metal power over the party. The National mm -hmm. Executive Committee does the daily, you know, engage in daily activities. So why avoid party. appointing uh, national uh, It's going chairman. to come up soon, very soon, I tell you. The, 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 we're going to elect the, the, uh, the BOT chairman. During the it's elective convention, possibly, I, if it I, happens? I don't know. I don't, I don't speak for the party. But I tell you, the BOT chairman is going to emerge very soon. And that does not affect, uh, you know, APC in any way. All It'll right. The, well. There are so many governors that are and even senators that seem to be aggrieved with the workings of the PDP, oh, sorry, of the APC, <laughs> sorry, 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 yeah, of the APC. And there are feelers here and there that some, there's going to be mass defection from the, from the APC, especially for some governors and even for some senators, highly placed and all of that. Some what, that have interests. What, 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 uh, what are the, what, what, from your analysis and all of that, what, what do you think, what impact would that have on the party? In the first place, if the National Executive Committee mm -hmm. and the chairman of our party allows Ashiwaju to deliver the goals, of course, the, the notion of defection is not going to work and uh. it's not going to happen. I tell you that for free. And that is why we are insisting that they should call these people to order. Let us reconcile. If the reconciliation discussion the constitution move is successful the senators who are aggrieved must have agreed with their governors okay don't worry these are the middle ground we can meet and this okay everybody will sing the same song so you think so Ab abubakar wouldn't, wouldn't have uh, defected if uh, the co reconciliation committee had been put in place before his uh, movement um the issue of former vice president is absolutely a different ball game it's a game of interest meaning that there could be some peculiar cases too that could be beyond reconciliation and members might want to move even among my even that? among my children if i want to reconcile the four of them through my different what i need is game of number if three is okay and you say you are not going to do my bit okay that's fine maybe you want to go with your mother it's okay all right it's a game of majority Ibrahim. if if article believes that they want to reconcile okay look at his governor now the governor is doing very well okay so if, what we do is that at the election we'll put the popularity contest in play in Dalamawa. if he's popular if apc is popular we'll see ibrahim machine our uh, all progressives congress member thank you very much for coming thank on to the show thank you for coming thank you very much for yes. coming